It's the sweetest and spookiest time of the year. So, of course, we had to make a stop at Atkinson Candy Company, who has been making some of America's favorite candies since 1932, right here in East Texas. My great-grandparents started the company in 1932 at the height of the Depression, and we are still family-owned and operated. I'm the fourth generation, and I work with my father, who's third generation. To make candy this good, someone has to supervise, right? Well, some believe that in the early morning hours, a friendly spirit rose the factory, you know, to make sure all is in working order. You know, at night there's always a weird sort of feeling of being watched maybe. Not, not necessarily in a bad way, but it's creepy for sure. Joshua Sheldon didn't know about the ghost at first until one of his tools went missing right before his eyes. I set it down and I'm the only one in the area cleaning up, you know. It's completely gone. Keishelle Brooks was only here for a few weeks when she felt something brush by her early in the morning. I felt somebody walk past me and I turned my head and I looked and there's nobody there. But has anyone seen a ghostly figure? Jawreel Holman was riding a forklift down the warehouse aisles when something caught his eye. When you're riding down the aisles, it's space, space, space. And one time I was riding it, I could have swore I saw some more standing. And Timothy Carroll says most of the sightings he's heard of has taken place on the mezzanine, where the candy making process begins. The guy standing there in Atkinson all white, uniform. Looked down again, looked up, he was gone. All of the employees we spoke to agreed on the same thing. They think the ghost is an older gentleman who may have been an employee at one time. And although none of the encounters have been threatening, everyone believes that Atkinson Ghost is there to make sure things are running smoothly and the candy stays sweet. We've got you covered East Texas, Colleen Campbell, CBS 19.